Hey guys, welcome back to another Tech Guru video. I'm coming at you today taking a look in an overview at the new iPad app from Adobe, Adobe Voice. It's like a narration app in which you can put pictures and, and icons and things like that in, in a way to tell a story via a video. Uh, and I believe this is a big game changer in the way we're going to create media in the future. It's a free iPad app. You can get it in the app store. It's like number four on the charts right now uh, as I'm recording this video. But but I've played around with it now for a few days and I really wanted to do a video on it because I think you guys would really enjoy this app and it's free so uh, you know, you're know you not really taking any monetary risks. So let's take a look at, at what we're doing here. So first and foremost, you can create these things that are called stories. They're called projects, okay? Uh, so as you see here, I've got two of them that I've saved here uh, and then you can just click on those stories and you can play those stories. You can record audio, add icons, add images, but the final result will be this. This is a test to try out the new Adobe Voice from Adobe for your iPad. You can be dramatic and add all kinds of intensity. Or you can be kind and gentle. So as you see there, it's just a narrated story with images coming up animated and it's done easily. Let me show you how to do it. So. As far as the interface goes, it's as easy as choosing a layout. You have different layouts here, so you can choose one thing, you can choose two things, you can choose a full screen photo, you can go here and go to you know an image and then some text below that, you can do uh, an image outside of an image. So that's just the layouts that you can choose, different layouts, and then you have a ton of different themes. So as you finish your project, you can actually go in here and change the theme. So now I'm changing it over to a grunge theme. I can change it to a traditional theme with different colors. But as you see, I'm changing the theme. It's also changing the color of my images that I've added to my project. So once you have your theme and your layout selected, not only can you do that, but you then can go over and select from an absolute large library of audio. So this is all audio that Adobe has provided here and it's all categorized in like uplifting, thoughtful, warm, thematic, uh, you know, energetic. So it's all categorized out. So whatever the fill of your video needs to be, you can choose the appropriate audio to put with your video. So let's stop talking about all this and let me show you how to make a video. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go back to the home page here and then there's a big button there at the top that says create a new story with an addition symbol right there above it. Click on that now. It'll then ask you what is your story about. So I'm going to go ahead and just type in stuff. The story is about stuff and then I'm going to click the next button right there. You then have a few different options. You can promote an idea. You can tell what happened. You can explain something. So I'm going to go and choose explain something and then you know you can read what's below there. It kind of tells you a little bit about what this is going to do and then you can say pick this one there in the bottom right hand corner and then once you do that you'll be presented with this interface here now it's awesome because all you have to do is hold the little microphone button down with your finger tap on it and hold it and as you're holding down the iPad via the microphone will be recording your voice in a nice high quality format obviously if you're in a quieter location it's gonna be a lot better than if you're somewhere in a busy subway or something like that so make sure you're in the appropriate area in which you can get good high quality audio but all I would need to do is just like I'm about to do is hold down and then record some audio so I'm gonna do that now I'm recording some audio to test on this video once I've done that I can then go over here and press the play button I'm recording some audio to test on this video and as you saw there, that audio was then recorded via the microphone through my iPad, which is an absolute awesome feature and an absolute great way to use the microphone. Now, once I have that audio, I can go up, as I said, I can change the music so I can make it, uh, let's say, a little more playful, per se. Uh, and you can test the audio there and turn it up uh, just like that. And then once I've done that, I can actually click on the little white addition symbol there in the center of the screen. I can add text. I can add a real photo from my photo stream, take a photo via the iPad, or... I can add an icon, which is my favorite. Uh, so I've done some research here. I've typed in some pretty obscure things, and it always comes up with something. So you'll never have it where it doesn't come up with anything. So I'm going to go ahead and type in, let's say I'm going to type in dog here, and then I'll search for that. It'll come up with all kinds of cool little dog icons, and then you can select one of those icons, and it will then place it right there in the center of your video. Now, if I play this video back, you'll see something here. Let's go ahead and play it. I'm recording some audio to test on this video. 
So as you saw there, the little dog came up, little dog icon, with the audio that I recorded via the iPad. Uh, down here at the bottom, you'll see a little addition symbol in the very lower right hand corner. If you click that, it will add a new page for you. So you can add as many pages and make this video as long or as extended as you may want. So once I'm adding more pages, I can go in, I can add photos here, uh, and as you see here, I can take a picture, I can find photos, I can choose one from my iPad, or it has great integration with Creative Cloud if you're a subscriber there, or Facebook, or Dropbox. So you can do one of those things via the photos. You can also add text by just selecting text there, and then typing in some text just like I'm doing now. And it will automatically uh, format to, uh, to go where you want it to within your video. The great thing about about this app in my opinion is that it's easy it's easy to use people can create content very easily and in a very short amount of time and it's really high quality content as well now once you're done with your video uh, and we're about to finish the video up you will need to go up here to the upper right hand corner and you can share this video by clicking the little share button there and then you can share this via a title uh, you can do it publicly or privately you can share it via email Facebook Twitter by a message iMessage or you could just copy the link and shoot that over to somebody be great Great for family events, great for family outings. Uh, you can share it with your family and friends via the video here straight directly from your iPad. Uh, and you can upload that directly from this link here. So anyways, the name of the application, oh, one more thing. You can actually go here and see all of your projects that you've created. You can go to shared if you have some shared via your Adobe Creative Cloud account or the awesome thing is go here and explore and you can look at all of these awesome creations that everyone else who's using Adobe Voice have created uh, via the explore button there at the top. Uh, as far as the settings, you can go to settings, you can restore the tutorial, sign into your Adobe Creative Cloud account, send them feedback, read a little bit about it, updates, things like that. But anyways, guys, the name of the app is Adobe Voice. It is free in the App Store. You need to get it if you have not already. There is no risk. So go ahead and do that now. Please, please, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really does help me out. Thank you guys for watching as always, and I will see you guys in the next one.